Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Schleter with today's Tom's Take. Now, your thought, if you are observant, is, I think he's wearing the same shirt he did yesterday. No, I'm actually wearing the same shirt I did about 30 minutes ago. I am going to be doing a lot of traveling uh, the rest of this week over into Shreveport, Louisiana, and then up to Minneapolis to minister. And I have to get uh, two or three of these done before I leave because I won't have an opportunity to do that over the next couple of days. So thank you for being observant and thank you for listening in. When you're listening to this, which is going to be tomorrow, as I'm doing this, on Wednesday, this evening on Wednesday at sunset, we will enter in to the new year, 5785. We'll enter into the month of Tishri. It's a, it's a marvelous season to enter into. I've referred to you before uh, to James Nesbitt's uh, paintings, drawings, and the one that we have for Tishrei is the month that is dedicated to Ephraim. It's the seventh month of the year which denotes completion. It also denotes a time to be fruitful and to multiply. It's the month of the strong. Tishri is the month of the fall feast when we are to return to God and experience the fullness of his glory. It is also the month of God's appointed times. The seventh month and sevens, as I already mentioned, are important because they denote completion and fullness. So yesterday, well actually on Monday, as I told you, shut the door on the way out. We have now entered into the new door when we go in to Rosh Hashanah. We're going into this season of being strong and courageous. It's also a time when the constellation Libra is emphasized. Now, don't get messed up there. We're not talking here about going to the stars and going palm reading. No, the stars were put into place by God as signifying times and seasons and directions of things. And Libra represents justice. It is when the deeds of men are weighed and judgment is released. How significant this is as we go in to this new season. As I also have already shared, the Lord in this moment is taking us up to the high places. Chuck Pierce has spoken that very clearly that we are journeying up to the high places with worship, and as we arrive at the high place, we will have the sight of all things in Christ as we are seated with him, and we will begin the dismantling of the evil structures that are upon the earth. Can't make this up. This is a powerful, powerful season. But let me share one more thing about this month. The Hebrew letter that is designated by this month is the Hebrew letter Lamed. If you would do the Hebrew alphabet across a line like you used to do in grade school and you had to keep inside the lines as you were doing your uh, script writing, you would see that all of them fall in that line on the Hebrew alphabet except one. The twelfth letter, the middle letter of the alphabet is Lamed. It jumps up and it goes down deep. It goes above the line of the others and it goes below the line of the others. And the Lord has been speaking to me very clearly that this is a time when the staff will be raised by the ecclesia and then will be like a vav that pierces down into the root systems. This is a strong season of God saying, I have given you victory. Now manifest it through my wisdom and my revelation that I give to you, says the Lord. I'm giving you a perfect time and season. Lamed is the 12th letter, another completion number, which represents government and the apostolic. In the seventh month, which is a completion month, 
in the constellation of Libra, which is justice and righteousness being restored. This is an amazing season that we are in. It is not a time to fret. It is not a time to worry. It is not a time to back up. It is a time to say, Lord, fill us anew with faith in this hour as we now go into the new year. Let us celebrate the victory. Let us celebrate that which you are going to be accomplishing in the rebirthing of our nation. Don't be fearful. Don't tremble. We know that there is a tremendous warfare going on in the natural, but also in the spiritual in this hour. A natural war and a spiritual war in Israel with Hezbollah and Hamas and Iran. A physical and spiritual war regarding our elections and all of the things that are contained in that. A natural war and a spiritual war regarding the recovery of the devastation that has taken place in the southeastern United States. A natural and a spiritual war that is taking place with the longshoremen and their strike and God reestablishing provision by his kingdom in this hour. It's a good time. It's a good season. We are entering in tonight into Tishri. We are entering in to victory. We are coming up to the top of the mountain and we will see victory before us. And we will have the high ground. The enemy no longer has the high ground. Closing thought, Lamed. It has the portion that goes up and a portion that then looks like the hand of God. He's going to bring about a rod of authority into our hands as the ecclesia. And we will pierce the darkness, but we will also be extending God's richest blessings upon the nation and upon his ecclesia and upon the nations of the earth. It's time for rebirth. It's time for transformation. It's time for awakening to come into its fullness. Happy New Year. And I'll be with you again tomorrow.